Welcome back to the ABC of EDC with me, Rick Flat, your host through everything, Everyday Carry. I almost forgot to film a video today. I was sitting around just sort of thinking everything's going well. Then I realised, <laughs> oh no, it's Tuesday. I've got to do a video. And I really, I, I've normally got a few in the can or a couple of things going on. Um, but I just, I guess last couple of videos have been doubles, doubles. And uh, anyway, excuses, excuses. If you're watching and you're not subscribed, do me a solid, will you? Like, subscribe, press the little bell icon. Come out from behind the curtains. Come out from the shadows. Join us here in the beautiful land of subscription. It helped me no end. Anyway, this is a watch that I bought for myself for Christmas, thinking someone else would pay for it and wrap it under the tree and give it back to me on Christmas Day. But maybe I've not been that clear about it. I might have kept it for myself and just started wearing it. But anyway, I bought this in the AliExpress 1111 sale. This is the Steel Dive SD. Actually, before we, get, before we open it, standard standard sort of aliexpress box right i had a san martin one i had a san martin sticker you can get a begani design one as a begani die or whatever you know this has got the steel dive sticker <laughs> anyway this is the steel dive sd 1970 i believe this is the seiko kind of willard uh, tribute act in the box we've got a little uh little kind of uh bar room oh that's good it's got a little spare little thing on the bottom that's quite handy a little spare there but this is a little thing for removing uh you know the bath collar things <laughs> you can tell it's last minute can't you <laughs> for adjusting the bracelet before we get to the watch what have we got in here instructions on how to work a three-handed watch don't think we need that and a, uh, a warranty yeah <laughs> not sure that'll be of any use completely not filled in fairly pointless uh, anyway <laughs> i digress <laughs> let's actually look at the watch now like i say i've already adjusted this i took out two links to 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 fit around my seven inch 19 centimeters it's not my wrist isn't 17 seven inches and 19 centimeters it's both it's <laughs> my watch is <laughs> <laughs> I've lost all track. It fits me, man. I took two links out, all right? What's your, what's your beef? Anyway, here's the watch. The, the Steel Dive SD1970. We have sapphire glass. We have a ceramic insert. We have an NH35 uh, beaten in the background, uh, the heart of the watch. Uh, we have a lovely bracelet here. You can buy it on rubber straps, whatever. I opted for the bracelet because it's not going to stand here too long. It's going to go on a nice waffle strap or a NATO or something. We have a milled clasp that with uh, pushy pushers and a safety thing. <laughs> uh, steel dive branding on there. Very nice. Solid case back. Screw down crown. Uh, let's do some dimensions. We have 20 mil lugs. I think going down to about 17, it tapers a little bit. 20 on the clasp. 22 where the little safety thing is there. Uh, now it's, I think it's 44 mil, but it's hard to know where to actually measure this thing. If you go to the bezel, it's 41, just under 41 something, just under 42 really, the actual bezel. And then here you can get anywhere from 43 and a bit up to that 44, so it's up to you. I can't remember the actual thickness. Let me just do the thickness. Thickness is 13.4 mil. The crown size, I believe is 6.1, let's just double check. Yeah, the crown is pretty much 6.1 or around 6, 6.1. So quite grabbable. It's got these very muscular shoulders, uh, those crown guards there. The most telling dimension on this watch is actually the lug to lug. Although there are smaller lug to lugs, with the size of this watch, the diameter of it, like being 43, this lug to lug of 47.9 makes this watch for its kind of bulk, its size, it makes this watch very, very, very wearable. Like you wear this and it just kind of disappears on your wrist, man. It really does. And you might be looking at it and thinking, how can that disappear? It just does. It just does. I mean, if you look at it on my wrist, it's 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 hardly covering, going to the edge of my wrist. So I'll put some more wrist rolly shots in and stuff like that. But very very comfortable very good on the hand but feels very solid real rem really reminds me of other seikos i've had in the past man the, the, the skx and stuff just really nice uh, a mixture of finishes here some polished uh sections on, on the cut on the edge of the case uh, and then some sort of blasted sections and then a sort of the bracelet that's blasted but kind of a different kind of uh different to the case there the kind of shiny edge of that lovely, lovely bezel. 
Um, really good feel on the bezel. Just get the microphone in. Yeah, it feels really, really solid in hand. Dial layout, I really, really like this thing. There's something really simple about it. Uh, simple markers, just those squares. We'll talk about the loom in a minute because the loom's pretty epic. Sort of um, straight stick hands, that second hand with a loom pip and a little red dot behind it. Uh, window at the three o'clock. Now, like, like a, where I'm at at the moment is I'm just against all date windows. I don't know why. I think all watches look better, no date. Um, but this one looks good simply because the, the date window matches the squares of the markers you just kind of it just kind of disappears into the background there minimal branding still dive under the 12 and then tiny little bit of text with another little dash of red like i say great loom we'll get into that in a minute just a classic watch based tribute in uh, you know um authoring uh it, it's kind of the doffing its cap to a seiko willard okay um just classic design not still dives someone else's but it just does it. Now, people hate on this bracelet, but I've got to tell you, man, I don't have much of a problem with it. it on, on wrist, it's very, very comfortable. There are no sharp edges. It doesn't feel janky or loose. You've got solid ends, uh, end links on here. It just, oh, mate, it just feels very good. And I can't remember exactly what I played for this. I'll put it on the, on the bottom of the screen here. Like I say, this was part of the 1111 AliExpress sale, and um, it was a bargain. I, I know that on the Steel Dive website, this is 100 plus, 110, something like 100, I don't know what. Um, and I certainly paid a lot less than that. And I think it would even be worth the price that you would pay on the Steel Dive website. Um, but if you can get this at a bargain price like I did, you should do it. Because that lug to lug, even though there's a, a, a quite, a, quite a gauge here, the lug to lug here makes it sit so nice on your wrist. I'll put some wrist rolls in and stuff like that. Just, it's a tasty, tasty watch now i'll cut quickly to some loom shots um like i say this thing is pretty loomy i thought this was pretty good that dual color loom and uh a while ago i had um a, a red ball um like a, a tudor red ball alingi racing special edition pelagus on and that had the best loom i'd seen in any watch and i saw my friend the other night and he was wearing that watch and i had because i'm a geek i had my black light on me so <laughs> i got the back light out ran it over his um, Tudor ran it over this and I've got to tell you man this thing more than held its own like more than held its own mad loom so yeah degradation loom how long does it last I don't know I ain't got time to do that <laughs> but you know it's it's it, for a while it lasts however long that is it's amazing so yeah what am I saying in conclusion what are some of the bad things about this watch not much i guess the, uh, it's it's not very original um you know over time will will things have you know will the class foul will spring bars foul and stuff i don't know i'll tell you uh, what are the good points um that classic design the, the the proportions are amazing the loom is amazing the bezel action is great as far as i can see it's lined up classic good and uh with real Seiko Willard's going for, you know, I don't know, 1,300 quid, whatever, for the new one, and who knows how many thousands the further you go back in time to original ones. This is really a bargain of a watch. And the second steel dive I've bought, and the second time I've been very, very impressed with what they are doing. Anyway, just a quick one, in and out, almost forgot you, but, you know, how could I forget you guys, especially you subscribe people? rest of you it's a little bit more difficult but if you subscribe i love you even more anyway laters till next time this has been the abc of edc and i've been rick flat carry what you love later